G'day fellas, welcome back to another video in the Improvement Checklist series. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the British. It's a build order that you can be doing in one versus one team games, as well as land and water maps, and it is the Virginia Company Boom. So let's get into it. We're going to start by moving all of our villagers over onto their separate crates. Let's go. Starting and moving our explorer out as well. And we're just going to micro each of our individual uh, crates uh, for the villagers, so you can see that they're all picking them up now. And our explorer is moving out towards a uh, an all-important trading post. Now, we've got a good trading post spawn, so we're going to just be taking that one. And uh, then we're going to be chopping out some uh, some wood. Going to be making sure that we split. So, normally, three and three is your best bet for splitting. So, you want to open with three villagers onto food, three villagers onto wood. Just do a little bit of herding at the same time as well. And so, the idea is that what we're going to be doing is sending three villagers as our first shipment. And then we're going to be sending, after that, we're going to be sending Virginia Company. Now, we're not going to be taking any treasures. Now, typically, you would be doing this with treasures as well. So, now I'm just going to be pulling off each of my villages just before we hit that 135 mark. There we go. So, now dropping those off. And uh, we might, you know what? We might uh, we might just kill some of the uh, the Guardians just so that we've got that extra XP for our shipments. Oh, don't want to do that. And... Uh, it looks like we've had a, a bit of an... I've made a little bit of an error here at the be, at the beginning, but that's okay. Uh, so typically, when you want to be... Um, when you want to be building your houses, you want to be building them at the front of your base so that they create this sort of wall uh, that prevents your opponent from passing through. It's ideally the best way to be doing it. So in, instead of putting them back at the back of your base, ideally you should be placing them towards the front. Now, you can also be placing them for line of sight as well. That's always a good strategy when it comes to your manners. So that means, you know, putting them out here, putting them out on these trees, maybe even some down here to the south as well. And that's typically what you want to be doing in that situation, just to try and and, and spread them out as much as possible. You, you really don't mind if your opponent kills your manners, uh, simply because you can just rebuild them and you're going to be able to pick up another villager for free. Uh, so that is, it's always a, a, a good thing. So making sure that we kill all of the musk deer underneath the town center, Really important that we that we kill all of them because otherwise, if we don't, they're going to run away and then you're just going to lose that food for, you know, 10, 15 minutes before you realize it's there. And by the time you realize it's there, it's, it's already been, it's already too late. You've already lost, lost that advantage or that potential advantage from having it. So always something to be very cognizant of. So we're just going to murder that final musk deer now, take it out. And even if we don't need it right now, well, that's okay. It, what matters is it will be there for us uh, eventually. And so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be entering into the transition period. I might just kill these guys down here, grab that XP. So with the transition period, there's a couple different options that you can play it. Now, I like to play a little bit more greedy, so I, I normally go with the naturalist as my option. And then we're going to be moving our villagers over onto wood and sending in Virginia Company. So we're moving all of our villagers over onto wood at this point. Now, we're going to send a couple out to go herd, but we're not going to be killing any of the hunts. We're just going to be sending it out for wood and to go herd. Now... I mentioned earlier that when it came to uh, Virginia Company, that you want to make all of your houses at the front of your base uh, in, in a nice little wall. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be using these settlers out here that are at the front. So we're going to be trying our best to micro those as, as best that we can and, and get a nice little wall in here. So we're waiting for Virginia to come, to come in. And once it comes in, then we're going to be moving our villagers out, ready to place down those houses. So there we go. Get those houses down, get them building. And so now we've got three houses that have dropped down, making sure that we get all of our villagers to do what we what we want them to do. So that's move back onto uh, the trees. And now that we're getting close to aging up, so we've dropped down four mana houses. So we're going to be dropping down a fifth mana house. Uh, and then we're going to be dropping down a market shortly after that. And just making sure that we've got all of our villagers out here and about. And we're going to begin transitioning villagers now over onto food. Because when we age up, we're going up... With the uh, the settlers and cows, now keep in mind that with those settlers and cows, so we're dropping a market here just before we age up. So five manners, and then we're dropping that market, so we don't have enough food for our our age up, or for our first villager. So sending send uh, sending seven hundred wood, and then getting five villagers onto this cow as quickly as possible, and then beginning to to try and and get that villager in queue. It should be on. They should be on the cow. I'm not sure if they are actually on the cow or not. Now dropping down more and more. Uh, more and more villagers, or more, more and more manners rather. Just putting them out and about. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we get Gangsaw from our market. So the market's going to be providing us that Gangsaw upgrade. Not too important to get hunting dogs just yet. 
And keep in mind, we're just going to continue adding over to this, uh, this wall at the front of the base. And not until we get our uh, 700 wood arriving are we actually going to begin dropping down our barracks. So now that our, our 700 wood has arrived, so now we can actually drop down that barracks. So making sure that we're dropping it down behind our base and at the same time continuing to mana boom uh, and making sure that we're adding more uh, manas to the walls. Keep in mind that when you do this, you just want to make sure that all of your villages aren't going idle. Uh, you, you really want to just be making sure that you're you're dropping down those manas. It can be a little bit hard because there's just so many manas that are going down and, and making sure that they all get out. And you can already see that we're, we're getting quite a few idols from doing this and that's okay. So next shipment after this is going to be five settlers and we're also going to be training a pikeman in queue. And so now we're going to continue dropping down those uh, those all important manas. You can see that the way that we're adding to it, it's just a, a very sort of subtle wall. And at the moment we're sitting on 18 mana houses, so not too bad, but we're going to try and get this batch of pikes out as well. Uh, it can always be a little bit tough when you're going for batches of, of units and whether you, whether you finish the batch or not. So we're going to finish this batch. We're going to get a batch of five pikes out and we're going to continue just adding mana houses and then once we uh, are getting closer to the limit, so once we hit that limit, that's, then we're going to transition villages over onto this coin mine. And the idea is that we want to be looking towards that age up. So we're going to be looking at uh, potentially getting our steel traps as well as our hunting dogs upgrades. And to do that, we're going to be needing a fair bit of resources. So we're going to be pulling in our villages from these, these outer regions and bringing them back in over this way. So making sure that we get enough, just enough for steel traps and once we've got enough for steel traps so you can see that uh, it, it's come off now we're going to be transitioning villages over onto food and coin and now sending in that 700 coin that's going to help us get up to the next age we've got these five pikes out now if i was playing against a civilization that that uh, wasn't going to start with cav maybe they wanted to start with infantry maybe i would go for the longbows now there are different ways that you can play the early game you don't have to be playing uh the early game with uh, with a fast fortress style strategy, you can be going uh, for an, an age two, a, a very heavy focus on the age two play, which is something that a lot of people will like to do with this build order. Now, take a look at our village account. We're sitting at 48 villages. We're about to be at 49 villages when we get this age up in queue. So hopefully uh, it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's pull all of our villages in to try and pick this up as quickly as we possibly can. So making sure that all of our villages are, are gathering and we're going up with 49 villagers up to the next age. We're going to start transitioning villagers over onto wood. And I'm going to pause the game here because it's at 7 minutes 34. And we're now able to age up. So you can take your pick. Uh, typically, the best three are the uh, the Caravel. Also, the Admiral Admiral of the Ocean Sea is the best for any kind of water map where your opponent is going to go water. I like to go with the Bishop. Uh, but if you're facing any sort of pressure, then you can definitely go with the Longbows as well. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this look at the British mana boom ff if you think that i've missed anything make sure you leave a comment down below if you've enjoyed this video leave a like and i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you for watching